Welcome students, Professor Harmer here, and this is a demonstration of how to create a keyboard hotkey on your Windows computer. Macintosh's is a separate demonstration. I don't know about you, but I like to eliminate as much redundancy and waste of time in my life that I can. I've gotten tired of typing my long email address in many places that is required time after time. I also like to sign off on inbox messages and emails with a positive note, but it all takes typing and time. Then I discovered how to program a key on my keyboard for each text string that I was repeatedly typing. So check out this demonstration. Here I am. This is Control D now. Control D, boom. And this is Control V. There we go. And here is Control T. So those are demonstrations of how quickly one key can just, anywhere I need to type that string, I can put it. So here we go. We're going to go into a video demonstration of how to do it. And then you can also see at the bottom of this text document down here, a written explanation and directions on how to create, uh, how to program one key to type in your text screen. First, log in to autohotkey.com and download the program. So here we are in my desktop, and you can see here in the center, I moved all my hotkeys that I've already demonstrated a couple of those to you um, on my desktop. So now I'm going to show you how to create a hotkey. Well, first of all, getting to the desktop from whatever program you're in, on your computer, you come down and you get to your taskbar and come to this little up arrow here, right click, and there it says show desktop. So that's what gets me to this desktop. Now, when I'm on the desktop, I can go, I'll come over here, right click and scroll down. It says new. So when new is up there, you come up here, there's your hotkey. It's always been there, Windows, Windows 10. You click on hotkey and here you can give your heading here so you can recognize what the hotkey is for. I'm going to call this hotkey D and I do a little dash to separate it space and this is going to be SCC space email. Okay, because that's what I'm going to create in this hotkey is my email address at Seattle Central. Okay, so I've got that. Now I'm going to come here. Now it pops over here to the side. You got to bring it back. Okay, then I right click on it and I go edit script. So here it's got a bunch of script that really don't be concerned about this because you're going to delete it all. And this is your instructions. I'm going to use a control D uh, for writing my email address wherever I am in any program in um, anywhere in Windows 10. Okay, so I'm going to delete all of that. And here's my control key. The first thing you do is you have to give it shift six. Right above the six, you will see a little tilde. That tell, that's computer language for control. And I'm going D, lowercase d. And then you go colon, colon. Boom, next line. Send, comma. And then here's the text stream that it's going to print. It's colleges.edu, okay? And then I go to the next line and I type return. And that's it. So that's it. So now I'm going to go file, save. Okay, and then file, exit, boom. So here it is, okay? Now it's not active yet. I gotta click on it to make it active. Let's go over and see if it's actually working. So here we go, control D, boom. Now is that a lot easier? Then typing it every time. I mean, the Seattle. Okay, I'm going to come back. Right click here, desktop, and that gets me back here. And then I can move this and move it over here. Now, if you reboot your computer, you have to come back and click on all of these to activate them so they all work. Okay, so there you go. There is a demonstration on how to create a hotkey so that you can hit one key in order to type an entire text stream. Saves me a lot of time. I hope you find that beneficial.
professor harmer signing out. thank you very much.